It has now been more than a week since Donald Trump had his disastrous debate against vice president Kamala Harris and the former president is still whining like a baby over what happened that Tuesday night. And he had the opportunity to whine very publicly about it when he made a surprise appearance on the Fox news program, Gutfeld on Wednesday evening, where he also let slip that his mind has completely turned to mush. During his appearance on Gutfeld, Donald Trump not only ranted and complained about the moderators fact checking him, but he then completely made up a scenario that didn't happen because it couldn't possibly have happened. And here's what Trump said. And they didn't correct her once talking about the moderators and they corrected me. Everything I said, practically, I think nine times or 11 times. And the audience was absolutely, they went crazy. The audience at that ABC news debate went crazy because the moderators were fact checking Trump. Now, most people immediately understand the problem with that statement. Some people may not have caught on yet and that's okay. But for those who don't realize the insanity of it, let me explain it very simply. There wasn't an audience. There was no audience. Those people that Donald Trump claims went crazy didn't exist. This man went on national television on a program that somehow, some way is actually beating the late night comedians. But anyway, he went on a, a, a cable news program broadcast nationally and completely just made up this fabrication about the audience that wasn't there going crazy for him and not a soul on that program bothered to say, there was no audience. You're making this up. You might be insane. Get off my stage. Nope. They all just went along with it as if this was perfectly normal for a grown man of 78 years old to just fabricate things out of thin air to make himself look better. I always say this and I'm going to say it again, but by God, if president Biden had done that, this would be headlines for weeks. This would be headlines for weeks. This story was actually difficult to find. I had seen somebody post about it on Twitter, went around looking for it, found it in two places. That's it. Nobody else seemed to give a crap that the mentally declining former president of the United States who wants to be president of the United States again, can no longer tell fiction from reality. And he's making up his own reality and nobody on the Republican side is pushing back against it. They're encouraging it. They're accomplices at this point. Remember how, when president Biden did his horrible debate and then the media spent weeks and weeks talking about his declining mental health, uh, even some independent, you know, moderate nonpartisan media outlets were saying that all the Democrats in Washington were complicit in this. They're accomplices. They allowed this to happen and they covered it up. Where are all those people today? Huh? Why aren't all of you screaming at the top of your lungs? Like you did with president Biden and the Democrats about Donald Trump suffering from a severe cognitive decline and all the Republicans, including those on the little Gutfeld set, letting it happen. They are accomplices. They are helping to cover it up. When you don't call it out, you become complicit in it. This man is not well. There is no other way to say that Donald Trump is not a mentally well person. And this is just the latest in a long line of symptoms that he has shown us publicly. And why is this not bigger news? Now, some outlets of course have started questioning Donald Trump's mental health, especially in regards to this statement but some is not enough. It wasn't just some outlets saying that Biden was suffering from cognitive decline. It was all outlets. Everybody on the left was talking about it too. Even some of the most diehard Biden supporters, he can do no wrong. Even those people woke up and said, he's got to go. We're not seeing that with the Republicans because each and every one of them is complicit in covering up Donald Trump's mental decline. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.